Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's your boy JNARK aka Cross the World, and today we are back with another rebuild. This time we're doing the Dallas Cowboys. Our previous video we did the Denver Broncos, and now we're on to Team 10, I believe. Is it Team 10? Pretty sure it's Team 10. And we're doing the Dallas Cowboys. Obviously, we're gonna go through the Super Bowl. We have 17 players that we have to resign. Cowboys, realistically, they did keep Dak Prescott, gave him a shit ton of money. We don't even have the cap space for it, but we're gonna have to keep Dak as he is our guy. So we're gonna give Dak the world and we get Dak back onto the team. Chidobi Awuzie, he's asking for a deal. Hopefully we can keep him around. He's not interested in signing. We have Jordan Lewis here, another young corner. Let's see if we can keep him around. We do. Alden Smith, the end. He wants a one year deal with four million. Not worth it. Xavier Woods though, he wants a little cheap deal. I think this could work, but he wants to test our free agency. Sean Lee is 67 overall and he's 35. We're gonna have to let him go. Andy Dalton, same thing. All these guys here, we're just going to have to let go. We don't have the cap space for it. So we're just going to advance to the next week. And um, so now we're into free agency. We have $9 million available in cap. That's uh, pretty much nothing. But we're going to see what the team, who's on a team that the te these guys can get rid of. We can't get rid of Demarcus Lawrence. That's someone I had in mind. Um... Randy Gregory, but he's just there for depth, so there's no real point in trying to get rid of him. So there's not really much we could do with the team, except uh, except we could just, like, we'll have to build through the draft. I mean, the offensive line is all right. Still still has some work to be done to it. And tight end core needs some assistance. Our receivers are pretty solid, though, so I'm not too worried about that. And our running back situation is pretty solid. And then our secondary is, like, we probably have to address that in the D-line. So that's something to just keep in mind, of course. But, um, yeah, I mean, we could try signing, like, a D-tackle to a cheap deal. Let's see what's uh, who's around for that. Receivers, we're not worried about that. Tight end, I wish we could just sign a tight end. Maybe sign, like, Trey Burn or Gerald Everett. But we wouldn't be able to afford him. But maybe we could try it. Maybe if he signs with us, that'd be nice. We get a, a true tight end, a true target. That would be pretty nice to see. Center, we definitely need a center. Austin Blythe. I'm gonna make a cheap deal to him. You don't have enough calories to, uh, calories. We don't have enough cap to make that make that deal with him. So we're gonna try Matt Skura, see if uh, we can get him to a deal to help out the squad. And then we'll advance to the next week. So we ended up getting Gerald Everett and we got Matt Skura. So we, we upgraded that position and um, got some more help. Uh, we're not going to look at the fifth-year options on players. We're going to scout for the one more time as we head into the last week and see what else we can, what else is available. And um, I don't think it would be too bad looking at some offensive linemen, of course. So we're just going to scout the first couple, you know, Elijah Vera Tucker, left guard, late first rounder, Trey Smith, late second rounder. Maybe that could work for us. I'm not really too worried about the center position. And... Um, see if there's any D tackles available that we could uh, honestly take a look at. I know Christian Barmore is pretty solid, so. And Levi Onzuwerski, or Onzuwerki. Oh, we also have one more week where we could uh, look at players, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna do that and then head right into the draft. So ladies and gents, the draft is here. The Broncos go defense, they get Quiddy Pay with their pick. And so Zach Wilson is still available, which is very surprising. Tight end Kyle Pitts is still available. Deanne Gregory Rousseau is still available. That's very interesting to see. And um, what we're going to go with uh, is the middle linebacker position already got uh, already got taken. I wanted to go with getting uh, Michael Parsons, but it looks like we can't get him. So with the players still available, I'm, I'm thinking Dylan Moses or Chassie Rout would be pretty solid. So let's look at all the positions, players that are still available, players that could help out. And, um, you know... I don't know. I feel like I could see the Cowboys honestly trading back. Kyle Pitts would be a solid pickup for them, but they already have like Blake Jarwin and Dalton Schultz. I feel like they would want to work with them, and I don't think Kyle Pitts realistically would drop that low. They want to go for a quarterback. I don't think the end is the real big need, and then the, the guard position would be too bad, but it's he's a late first rounder. So I'm going to realistically just trade back, review the offers that they got, trade back maybe. To like the 14th yeah go with the 14th with the vikings so we traded back with them let's get to our pick see if we can get the middle linebacker we traded back just a little bit 
and Zayvon Collins is still there. We're going to go with getting Zayvon Collins. I know he's a reach, but we get him. That's our new middle linebacker. Apparently, he wears number 23. Very interesting. So we go Zayvon Collins as the guy we go with. Niners get Najee Harris. Interesting. So we're still looking for... Honestly, we have no none of the scouted players here. I could see us going like guard. You know, second round getting Wyatt Davis. It's not too bad. They get a guard to help out. After they got two things on offense, they're gonna go. They went with a guard. This time they're gonna go with a DN. And then they're gonna get Florida State pass rusher or speed rusher, uh Joshua Kando or Quincy Roche. I think they go Quincy Roach. We get him. He's 70 overall, so we provide some depth onto the team, of course. We have another pick because we just traded back with the Vikings. So we still have another thing available. We could go cornerback here. I see Asante Samuel Jr. So we're going to go Asante Samuel Jr. He's 71 overall, so provide depth onto the team, which is pretty good. And then this will be the... We have another pick here. And after getting all those players, I feel like they'll go for receiver. Just a fourth round wouldn't be too bad. Tylen Wallace, we get him ranked number 72, true value, drafted him at number 106. And then we'll leave the rest to the team. Let's look at the draft recap. We ended up getting, so we got Zayvon Collins, and they also got Shaka Tony, left us on linebacker. So we went with the middle linebacker in the first round. I'm not mad about that. I feel like it would be a good thing for us to do. We're getting that position. And, um,. We have a 75 defense. Uh, so this is the offense. This is what it looks like. Pretty solid nonetheless. It has some work to be done, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, tight end core is pretty deep. Receivers, they're looking pretty nice as well. I like the offense. The offense looks pretty nice. Middle linebacker, we have Leighton Van Der Esch and um, Zayvon Collins. What I'm going to want to do here is move uh, Leighton Van Der Esch back to left outside linebacker and give, uh, give Zayvon Collins a chance to start. And... Um, with our safety situation, we still have to sign a strong safety. We have to sign a strong safety and a D tackle if we could even do that. Um, let's see. We got Deshaun Gibson Sr. We don't have enough to sign him though. So we're gonna have to sign. I'd rather sign someone like Tavon Wilson. Be a good player to have onto the team. Provide some uh, more depth, more security at that position, I'd say. Um, with the D tackle position, I want to sign someone that's like old but we want to have enough money to sign them so we can't even clear enough cap space for that so we're gonna to have to keep the d-line looking like that but first and foremost what we're gonna do we're gonna change um lane vanderish to be an outside linebacker and um zayvon collins will get the start i think that would be better for the team anyways if we do it like that so added player so we didn't make the playoffs we ended up going eight and eight so not too bad in our first year which I'm pretty happy about. So not too bad at all. Um, upgrading everyone. So we have an 88 offense, 79 defense. Statistically, let's see how well we did. So offense was 10th. So uh, that's what I expected nonetheless. Defense probably wasn't that good. Defense was 11th. So we had a top 10 offense and a top 12 defense. Dak had 31 touchdowns, 8 picks. Zeke had 1,600 yards and 12 TDs. Pretty nice. CD Lamb had 1,000 yards. Joe, uh, Michael Gallup had 777 yards. Mark Cooper didn't really do much this year, so he had a down year. Um, defense, sacks went to Randy Gregory with five. Wasn't too many sacks, though. We got a good amount of interceptions, though. Zayvon Collins had two picks as well, so that's pretty good to see. Um, let's see. So let's see if any of the Super Bowl is Packers, Bills. Very interesting. Let's see. Blake Bortles went, went to the Pro Bowl. That's surprising. Um, so did Jameis Winston. Let's see if any of our guys in Cowboys made it. C.D. Lamb made it. Okay. Offensive line. Uh, none of our, wow, not our guys. Interesting. Zach Martin did, that's good. D line, nobody from the looks of it. Linebackers, nobody. Owusu Karmaro, like a rookie, made it. That's very interesting to see. Tylen Wallace, our guy, he made it. That's pretty cool. Maybe that's probably as a kick returner. It's pretty cool to see. Super Bowl is Bills, Packers. The winners are the Packers. And we'll look at the 2020 recap. Josh Allen won MVP. Kevin Stefanski won Coach of the Year. Aaron Rodgers won Offensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Zach Wilson. Uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year went to Rod Salat. Linebacker Jeremiah Wusu Karamoa. And Deion Jones won MVP. I mean, Defensive MVP. 
So we have some players to negotiate with. We have uh, Michael Gallup. We do not have any cap to sign anybody here. Wow, everyone's gonna have to walk. I did not account for that. Um, why do we have no cap? What What's wrong? Why do we have no cap? I don't think I should release Amari Cooper. Neither should I release um, Tyron Smith. So what do we do to get under the cap? Get rid of Anthony Brown, maybe? Get like four million back? And then try to like maybe rebuild? But we went eight and eight, so we'll see what happens there. Free up him. I don't. I feel like getting rid of Amari Cooper wouldn't be a good idea. It wouldn't be a good idea, but we do have Tylen Wallace here, though. Oof. I don't know. I mean, we could get rid of Blake Jarwin. Just release some players just to get under cap, I guess. If we get rid of Amari Cooper, would you guys hate me? But, like, is that realistic, though? Like, they don't have cap, so in order to get under the cap... Yeah, in order to get under the cap after they gave Dak Prescott a crazy deal, they release Amari Cooper. I can see it happening. I could see it happening. It makes sense. We have some players ready to negotiate. We're going to get Michael Gallup walk. We're going to keep uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, though. He's asking for a lot. He's asking for 76 mil. He didn't even do anything. Dalton Schultz. We could keep him around on a little deal. Can we get him back. Left guard, Connor Williams. I feel like it would be good if we got him back. Uh, Tavon Wilson will let you walk. All these guys here will let walk. So we have some an interesting uh, deal to go with here. Uh, Randy Gregory. Uh, nah, we'll let you go. Lane Van Der Esch, though, you became an 82. Came pretty solid, though. So, let's see if we can get you back. So, we got Lane Van Der Esch back. And so, we're going to let Michael Gallup and Randy Gregory walk. So, we had to release those players just to, just to re-sign players. I mean, it is what it is. We have 4 million available in cap. Um, we let Amari Cooper, we released Amari Cooper. It's crazy. I, like, I released Amari Cooper, but had to be done. Uh, receivers, we could rebuild during the draft as well. Um, <laughs> so we got a uh, Sean Robinson to sign a deal with us. That was our only move with a uh, free agency, and yeah, that was our only move. So we're heading right into the draft and see what we can pick up. So we have the 15th pick in the draft, so let's see what we can get with our pick. Left end, Shawn Michaels. So, I feel like we could go receiver here. We could go receiver. We could go corner, D-tackle, right guard. Lots of positions we could get after here. Um, but I feel like our best bet would probably go for either receiver or D-tackle. And... I'm thinking it's time for us to shore up the defense again and get someone that's pretty solid. We're going to go with Rashard, Rashard Page. He's a talent early first rounder. He's 77 overall. He's ranked number three in true value. Drafting him at number 15. That works out well for us. Okay, so we have another pickup. Uh, let's go by scouted. So that's all the players that they had available for us. Um... I didn't get to look at the receivers, which I should have done, but I don't know what else we could do. So I'm gonna leave it up to I'm gonna leave it up to the CPU to see what they draft. Now we look at the draft recap. So, oh man, we reached horrible for a lot of players here, for a lot of players. So that's why you don't leave things up to the up to the CPU because they did a horrible job. So we have an 87 offense, 77 defense. Offense, nothing really changed. Offense is still pretty solid. And um, receivers, we have C.D. Lamb being our number one, but Tylen Wallace will get his chance to prove himself worthy to us. And then running back core, quarterback situation is pretty good as well. Defense, we have Zayvon Collins in his second year, and um, we should see how that goes for us. And we have our rookie D tackle and uh, Rashard Page, so we'll see how he plays. And um, without further ado, this is uh, <laughs> to be very interesting to see how how well we do here. But I feel like we should sign some free agent players, like a strong safety. Julian Blackman, free safety. We have the cap room for him, so let's sign him. We sign him to a deal that's pretty solid. And then we could sign a receiver as well. I think that would be pretty good for us. I think that would help us out a lot. And we have Marquez Valdez-Scanling, a big deep threat. 
could fit the scheme. We won't be able to afford him though. So I'd rather get someone that's like a vet. So I feel like Zach Pascal should be pretty solid. He's a slot receiver. Still can't afford him though. Alan Lazard would be a good deep threat for us as well. So we just signed Alan Lazard. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that helps out the team. It says we need to cut two players though. And for any givens, we'll cut him. And then we'll cut this tight end. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that works out for us. So let's send him to the playoffs. So we actually end up making the playoffs. We, we go 12 and four. Wow. We end up going 12 and four. Our team just, okay. We went 12 and four. We have 88 offense, 79 defense. CD Lamb got a new ability unlocked. We went 12 and four, but uh, we didn't win our division as the Giants went 13 and three. So it was a pretty good year for both of us in the division. Our offense was third in the NFL. Wow, 6,000 yards. And our defense was second. So we, Dak had a down year. He had 24 touchdowns, 14 picks. But Zeke had 1,600 yards, 16 touchdowns. Okay, so he was carrying us, of course. Receivers didn't do too well, but nonetheless, our offense did do its thing. Probably blocking held up pretty well. Um, defense, Demarcus Lawrence had 12 sacks. Jalen Smith had 9.5. Rashard Page at 8.5. Zayvon Collins had 3 sacks and, and a pick, and he led the team in tackles, most likely. We had a good amount of interceptions all over for the team. So, okay, okay. Okay, so we got the Cowboys back into the playoffs. Uh, this is what the offense looks like. Zach Martin is back to being a 99. Dak is a 91. Um, CeeDee Lamb's an 89. Tylen Wallace is a 78. Joe Deverett's an 81. And uh, Alan Zard is still a 75. So very, very interesting to see how well we did here. Defense, Zayvon Collins is a 78. Rashard Page, great D-tackle. 83 overall. He is a superstar X-Factor and he's a rookie. So he's helping out on the D-line with uh, Demarcus Lawrence. And then safeties, Julian Blackman was a good addition onto the team. He helps out a lot. And then corners, Jordan Lewis is doing his thing, helping out with Trevon Diggs and Asante Samuel Jr. So we're 12 and four. We just beat the Washington football team 20, 49 to 21. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we beat the Seahawks as we advance over there. We beat the Seahawks. We beat them 28 to seven. So we won our first playoff game back with a Dak under this new contract and we're facing uh, the Giants. We got a new injury, uh, Gerald Everett towards labrum, so he'll be out for two weeks. He'd be back for the Super Bowl. So we're facing our division rival here, and uh, the guy who, the team that won 13-3. and three. Let's see who's on their team, who's leading the way. Daniel Jones at 32 touchdowns, four picks, so Daniel Jones is going crazy. Saquon has 1,100 yards and 10 TDs. Uh, Michael Gallup went to the Giants, so that's very interesting to see. Sterling Shepard doing his thing, of course, and Darius Slayton. Defense, uh... Joshua Weber, a, left, a, a linebacker they drafted, got 11 sacks. And ex, ex, what's his name? O'Shane Eximes has nine sacks. Very interesting to see. I want to see the playoff bracket. Who's in the playoffs currently? Giants, Cowboys, Bears, Bears, Saints. And then in the AFC, it's Raiders, Titans, Bills, Texans. Very interesting to see that. And so we're facing the 13-3 Giants. So let's see if we could take a dub against them and move on to the conference championship. We do. So we, we won 27-20. We're in the conference championship right now against the Chicago Bears. Um, I need to see how well we how we won these games. So first off, we won the wild card, of course. And we beat the Seahawks 28-7. Offense, Dak had a 123 pass rating, had one TD. They didn't even get sacked. Russell Wilson got sacked twice. Zeke had 20 carries, 160 yards, one TD. So of course he did his thing. Our running, our running back situation is just great. So that's good to see that. And then defense, Rashard Page, and Lane Van Der Esch both did their thing a piece. And then we also go to the divisional where we played against our division rivals, where, where we won. Um, Dak had two touchdowns and a 102 passer rating. Daniel Jones had a pick and he got sacked once. Zeke, 20 carries, 152 yards, two TD. Zeke is being unstoppable, yo. Zeke is just so, like, godly. And um, Jordan Lewis and Neville, Neville Gallimore both uh, combined for a sack. And then Leighton Van Esch would have picked. So Leighton Van Esch has been doing his thing ever since we extended him. So that's really good to see. Uh, we're facing the 10-6 and 6, uh, Bears. Let's see if we take a dub there. We ended up winning 28-25. to 25, So we're in the Super Bowl. We're literally in the Super Bowl now. Wow. Um, I was not expecting that. Pro Bowl roster. So... I see that mm, nobody from my team. Wow. Hmm. Kind of surprising. 
no one from our team made the Pro Bowl, but yet we're in the Super Bowl. Maybe because uh, maybe because they had to put some backups in there because we, we want to be able to play anyway. So we're in the Super Bowl now. Um, we just beat the Bears, who were the number one seed, I believe. But yeah, we just beat the Bears. Um, our offense, Zach Wilson had two touchdowns, one pick, and he got sacked once. But Dak had a 65 pass rating, had two touchdowns, three picks, and he got sacked twice. But we ended up winning. Zeke had 19 carries, 154 yards, two touchdowns, and Tony Pollard had 12 carries, 52 yards. Our running, our run attack is just insane. Our run attack is just that nice. Um, Demarcus Lawrence had a sack. Demarcus Lawrence was the only one with a sack, and then the Bears are picking us off. But we did our thing, and Reggie Robinson ended up getting a pick. So Zeke just been carrying us to the Super Bowl, which is pretty cool to see. The Bears, yes, we're the number two seed, we're the number five seed, and we're we're in the Super Bowl against the Bills now. So. We get Gerald Everett back, so we get our number one tight end. So we're in the Super Bowl against the Bills. Two years into this rebuild. Can't get better than this. Um, let's view the yearly awards. Now we'll see it after. So we're facing the Buffalo Bills. This is the second year back in the Super Bowl. They lost to the Giants. Let's see if we could, we could uh, change our luck and win. And we do. We take a dub. We took the dub. We won the Super Bowl. We won the Super Bowl, I think. Wait, I think we won the Super Bowl. Yeah, we won 34 to 20. Okay, so Dak had five touchdowns, one pick. Josh Allen had two touchdowns, two picks, and got sacked five times. Zeke had 15 carries, 75 yards, so Dak definitely won Super Bowl MVP. That's insane. Um, Tylen Wallace had seven catches for two TD. CeeDee Lamb had a TD. Gerald Everett had a TD. And, um, wow, the Bills had uh, Robbie Anderson as well. Wow. Um, defense. Demarcus Lawrence had two sacks. Jalen Smith had a sack. Tristan Hill had a sack. And Rashard Page and uh, Sean Robinson combined for a sack. And then Zayvon Collins had a pick. And so did Reggie Robinson and Tredavious White. So, we did our thing. We did our thing and won the Super Bowl. Let's look at the 2020 season recap. So, Super Bowl winners was us. We had uh, we uh, Dak won Super Bowl MVP. MVP went to Josh Allen again. Two years in a row being MVP of the league and then not winning the, the Super Bowl. Um... Russell Wilson went Offensive Player of the Year. Coach of the Year went to Giants. Joe Judge, Defensive Player of the Year, went to Bobby Wagner. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Cedric Harden to the Saints. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to Lawrence Kaplan to the Lions. So we won the Super Bowl. I mean, there's not really much we could do after that. Like, we won the Super Bowl. Like, I'm pretty sure we're pretty elite. Like, that's that's just, that's just the perfect rebuild. Of course, we're going to get our contract extended. We just won a Super Bowl. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. This is our first successful video. It took us 10 videos. It took us 10 teams to get to exactly where we wanted to be. But nonetheless, we did it. And uh, it took us just, just two years for the Cowboys to go to the, uh, go and win a Super Bowl. Ain't that something. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what other teams you want to see me rebuild. Of course, I'm still going by the draft order. So I'll have uh, the next team. I don't even remember. I'll have the next team up, of course. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. And remember, you got to be a fiend succeed. Peace.